starts right now. Here they go. This is going to be close. This summer, a hundred television stars from the biggest hit series in TV history. Look at the speed right away. They're iconic. Keep low. They're beloved. One final surge. And within each of them is the desire to win. Howard Cosell, ABC showed its resiliency. Nearly 40 years after the original. Gaming ground. Tonight, a new battle is born. Down the side, this is going to be close. And at the heart of it all, as always. Right now, side by side. The thrill of victory. In a stunning upset. And the agony of defeat. I searched a lot. Oh, that's going to sting a little bit. And a little bit of this. What? <laughs> That's one of the five most awkward things I've ever seen, and I've been covering sports for 30 years. With teams coached each week by NFL champion Demarcus Ware. Let's go, let's go. This team is America's team. And MMA champion and former Olympian Ronda Rousey. Oh, oh he's going for it. He's going for it. He's going. This is where the stars collide. Go, go, go. It'll be a race to the line. Is Battle of the Network Star. We are coming to you from the spectacular campus of Pepperdine University in Malibu, California. I'm Mike Greenberg. And I'm Joe Tessitore. We're thrilled you're with us for Battle of the Network Stars. You know, decades ago, the one and only Howard Cosell brought this show into your home twice a year with his unique flair, his amazing delivery, and this impossibly awesome jacket. Now, when Battle was first on in the 70s and the early 80s, there were only three networks, so that's how they made the teams. So here's what we've done. We have combined the teams based upon the characters that the actors play. So we've got teachers, we've got cops, we've got lawyers, we've got White House power brokers, lifeguards, and troublemakers. And today, there's something for everyone, spanning the generations of your favorites. TV sitcoms taking on TV kids. <laughs> Good thing this carpet is red because I might be bleeding later. First to arrive is Dave Coulier from Full House and Fuller House. Anything you want to accomplish personally while you're here? Um, I want to make sure that none of my parts break. But I am wearing a cup for all the events. TV royalty is now officially in the building. That's Tootie, Kim Fields from Facts of Life. So I'm going to take a How moment out to geek out and say, you take the good, you take the bad. Okay, I'll relax. Okay, so as far as this on the field, what do you want to do? What did you want to accomplish? Um, you know, I'm not really one of those, I can do it over 40 and all of that, because it's like, you know what, I can do it, period. And it's a Facts of Life reunion. Lisa Welchel is here as well. This is the second time Blair and Tootie have teamed up on Battle of the Network Stars. That was a remarkable catch. I'm thinking if I set myself up to try to do better than when I was 20, that could be really disappointing. <laughs> Corbin Blue has his head in the game. The high school musical star is here. We know in high school musical you're a, a basketball star. Yeah, we're going to get this out of the way right now. Um, I don't play basketball. Pure acting. That is not... It's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Here are the starting lineups for the red team, TV Kids. Corbin Blue, High School Musical, Brooklyn, New York. Lisa Welch, Facts of Life, Fort Worth, Texas. Joey Lawrence, Melissa and Joey, Philadelphia, PA. Nolan Gould, Modern Family, Los Angeles, California. Kim Fields, Facts of Life, Living Single, Dancing with the Stars, New York in the house. And now the starting lineup for the blue team, TV sitcoms. Bronson Pinchot, Perfect Strangers, South Pasadena, California. Tracy Gold, Growing Pains, Chatsworth, California. AJ Mashaka, The Goldbergs, Los Angeles, California. Dave Coulier, Full House and Fuller House, St. Clair Shores, Michigan. And as for Tom Arnold, well... We hope he shows up soon. We're joined by sideline reporters Cassidy Hubbard and Carrie Champion. They'll be checking in with the teams throughout the day. Our team coaches are two of the very best, Olympic medalist and MMA superstar Ronda Rousey, as well as Super Bowl champ Demarcus Ware. Demarcus, what? Demarcus, what? Who hates swimming? 
Today I'm really excited to coach the TV kids. They're people that we've watched grow up over TV over the years, and it, it's crazy how you almost feel like you know them when you meet them. I really wanted to remind them that this is a day about them, not trying to look good for everybody else, but to push themselves to be the best that they can be, and everybody else be damned. Good, 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 good. Got our coach. If I had to compare the events that we're going through right now to the Super Bowl, it's an opportunity to prove yourself and what type of competitor you are in a big show. We're missing one more person. I don't know exactly where he is. Uh-oh. He's coming, though. Uh -oh. Yeah. Right. Tom, where are you? Come on, man. It's time to go. We're going to go kick the bus. Let's go. Each week here on Battle of the Network Stars, we'll begin here on the track with the running relay. Yeah, what a way to start your morning. Two times around, three of the competitors are going to split up that first lap with a baton exchange, then the anchor leg, one lap around. And that's where youth may be served. The TV kids' average age, 37. You guys do yoga? TV sitcoms, average age is 50. Whew, exhausted. Hey, guys, Team Blue here. Get ready for our relay race, first race of the day. Guys, how do you feel about this relay race? I, uh, oh, it's awesome. Do I, I seriously good. look that decent? This is also a spotting scope. I've spotted Tom. Oh, so Tom Arnold has decided to join us. Late to the event in the NFL, that's a considerable fine. In Hollywood, it's just making an entrance. Tom, Tom, what's up, Tom? Hey, hey, Tom, hey, Team Blue. Hey, hey. First of all, let me say that, that I am a very good athlete for a celebrity. I'm not a good athlete for a regular person. Well, you came late. That's true. So you're late now. Yes. But guess what? what? Now you're focused and okay. you're ready. Thank you. <laughs> Tom finally showed up. So now we got to get him right. He was dehydrated. He's going to get back in the mix of things. Me and you are going to cheer on the side. We're going to cheer him on. We want it. Yes. They got to yes. get it together. And then we're going to go get us some electrolyte. Okay. And feed your life. Okay? Yes. I'm here today because I have two kids I have to support. And uh, no, I'm here today because... When I was a kid, Battle of the Network Stars was the greatest show on television. And I wanted it, it, to tell my kids one day, although they don't care at all about my career, that I did that. Team TV Kids is going with Blair for the starting leg, and Cassidy is with her now. Was it a blessing or a curse to literally grow up on television? Would you have changed anything? It was absolutely a blessing. There was such a group in sisterhood between you guys. We love each other. We always have. We had a wonderful time and we're still really, really close. I actually see Kim pretty regularly. So we make sure that our paths cross for different reasons and sometimes it's working and sometimes it's just fun. All right, All right sis. You can do this. You got it. I've known Lisa since I was nine years old. And she's still the same wonderful person. She's been through a lot. I've been through a lot. You go through life, and yet it just feels great being around them. We got this. Let's go. Who is that guy? Get him out of here. Let's go. You're going down, Corbin. As you can see, the runners are getting ready and in position. Starting off will be Lisa and Dave. Got it, baby! Followed by Kim and Bronson. Red team! Let's do it! On the third leg, it's going to be Joey and AJ. And the all-important anchor will be Corbin Blue and Tracy Gold. I think many would be surprised by Tracy Gold getting the nod for the TV sitcom team. However, if they deliver her a good enough lead, she can maintain things. If they don't, watch out. Corbin Blue is in his athletic prime. He's one of our younger competitors. He's ready to run. It's so cool knowing that I'm I'm a part of something that, you know, originally had Bear Fawcett and Ron Howard and Mr. T. I mean, you have all these incredible people people in the entertainment industry who have been a part of this and I'm, I'm really happy to, to be a part of it today and make my mark. You are going to get hosed. What? I don't speak loser. I don't, I have no idea what it is. Oh. We are ready to go. Let's get this thing started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll a full start there with Lisa Welchel as Dave Coulier is off to a good start. Lisa trying to pick up some ground here. And it was a clean baton handoff to Bronson. Here goes Balky. Bronson not exactly a long strider at all. Big lead for the blue team that Kim Fields will try to make up. There's a little hesitation out of the gate. What happened this? Well, 
I don't know. I was anticipating a guess a bit too much. Blue team with a significant lead. Remember, they talked about wanting to have a big lead before they get to the anchor leg. And now here goes the 26-year-old A.J. Mishaka Laney from the Goldbergs as she extends the lead. But Joey Lawrence is picking up steam. What happened out there? I did my thing. What do you mean? <laughs> you, you're a little out of breath, but that's good. Did you get? Did you did everything the right way? I pulled this a little closer. Let's go, Joey! As they turn for home, Joey is making up huge ground. Here it comes, anchor leg as Tracy Gold with a clean baton toss, and now only a matter of about ten feet away as Corbin Blue absolutely blows by Tracy Gold, extending his stride. This is going to be on, one Tracy. lap of domination yeah. if he keeps this up exactly the way they thought it would play out. Corbin Blue running that anchor leg will take a nice, easy jog to the finish line. A dominating start for the red team, coached by Ronda Rousey, to get things going as they are on the board in battle of the network stars. AJ got off to a good start. It looked like the blue team was in good shape, but Blossom's little brother, he turned on the Jets. His coach loved it, and then, to quote my favorite of his songs, Corbin Blue pushed it to the limit, brought home the first point of the summer for Team TV Kids. Ten events. A little bit of a statement early on here, guys. We're setting the tone for the day. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Red team, nice job. Hashtag Red. So at the end of one event, TV Kids lead the TV sitcoms one to nothing, but we're just getting started. Still to come, a full slate of competition as these stars battle it out for athletic glory. Or something resembling that. Is it like tennis where you get another deal? Up next, we go to the pool for the swim. The kayak. And who will be the first to take the plunge in the battle of the network stars? Dumb tank. Find out next. <laughs> Our next stop on Battle of the Network Stars is here in the Aquatic Center for three different events. We have a swimming relay, a kayak relay, and then we will all enjoy the dunk tank. Ah, the dunk tank. We are yet to see Tom Arnold in action today. I demand that we see him in the dunk tank. Let's talk about the swimming relay for a moment. It's going to be two versus two, starting with female competitors 25 meters down, tagging off 25 meters back for the male competitor. Recruiting some of the celebrity athletes to take part in the pool events has been a challenge for these team captains. You're swimming. You're swimming. Wait, you're swimming. you volunteered for swimming youth. earlier? I thought you said you were a good Come swimmer. Come on, you are I did, but in I, this team, girl. That's no. <laughs> I was great at swimming, but not like I Did didn't mean today. Now, <laughs> why don't you want to swim? Is it the swimsuit or is it the vet? Uh, yeah, but you got people talking about you on social media. But I mean, this isn't about that. Well, Kim and Lisa have had a little bit of trouble, like feeling comfortable jumping into a swimsuit today, especially after they were in the show 30 years ago. They were uh, expressing a little apprehension at being judged online. I just want to remind all the girls on the team that strong is beautiful. We're not doing this for anybody else for positive comments or something on everybody like, like later. This is this is for you guys. This is about convincing people to better themselves throughout their lives, no matter what's going on, no matter who is watching. This is why there's a picture of her in the UFC gym that I go to because she's brilliant. Honestly, it's different doing this as a grown-up and a grown woman than a teenage girl. Um, so there are things that you feel a little more, you know, self-conscious about. And then you go, you know what, I'm a woman, hear me roar. And then you get your black ass in the pool. <laughs> so the decisions have been made. It's going to be Nolan Gould and Kim Fields for TV Kids. And Bronson Pinchot and Tracy Gold will swim for the TV sitcom. Go, 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 go. Tracy with the dive in gives her a slight advantage right now side by side. Tracy picks up the pace a little bit and should give the blue team the advantage at the wall as Kim looks to motor her way to Nolan Gould. As Bronson Pinchot and Nolan Gould will take it home and Luke from Modern Family with that great surge to the wall they go. This is going to be close. Swimming relay on the line. Pinchot had the confidence. And he's trying to head. He does. Bronson Pinchot. How about a little dance of joy from Balky Bartokovich? 
All right, let's take another look at what really was a terrific race. It was just that close at the finish. Bronson stretched. Nolan lost his goggles. Point for the blue team. It was a very tight finish. How were you able to pull it off? I didn't care anymore about living. Because <laughs> I think I only breathed once. That was a strong dive into the pool. I lost my goggles immediately. I think I came up for like a half breath at one point to just get all water. Like, <laughs> just dove, dove immediately. What did you feel about uh, Kim's leg? Kim, you were amazing. Guys, look, she deserves that Wonder Woman on her path. <laughs> Now to the kayak relay, which can be fraught with peril, just managing the boat. Paddling down 50 meters, going around the buoy, all the way back, tagging off to your partner to do it again. Down to poolside, to Cassidy. What is your strategy for the turn? Do you think that's yes, a turn? <laughs> Number one is to figure out that there's a turn. Yes, yes, and I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do like a little spin, like a little. Oh! We were just talking about, you know, kayak, you know, no, no, no. He's saying like consistency on your strokes. Because you don't have to try to power through it. It's just, you know, the strokes that you have, they need to be even. I'm here today to prove to myself that I can accomplish athletic activities, which was never my thing growing up. And I don't know, I'm, I'm willing to put myself out there and have fun. Okay, so we're ready for the kayaks where teamwork can be so incredibly important. It will be Dave and AJ against Corbin and Lisa. You know, and Corbin is starting to really emerge as clearly the best athlete maybe out here today. Brought it home in the running relay. Now he can give them a big league opening up here in the kayak. Let's find out. So here we go. And they are off in our kayak relay. And a steady course line is always critical as you see corbin with a little more speed and power but going side to side as dave has been steadier now navigating the buoy is always a challenge here in the kayak relay this is where you make up time corbin going the wrong way for a moment dave trying to get that edge and he does his nose is out in front but now corbin has straightened himself out and they're going to have a good battle to finish up this first leg as Dave Coulier, the voice of Yogi Bear and Baby Animal from Muppet Babies, is out in front. Now keep in mind, once the nose of the kayak touches the starting point wall, you can go, as it has for the blue team. And A.J. Mashaka Laney from the Goldbergs is quickly into the kayak. They made a good transition on the relay. But she's having a tough time steering. Meanwhile, the red team is finding success with Lisa Welchel, Blair Warner, Facts of Life, gaining ground after that tough transition after the first leg. It'll come down to the buoy. Who can steer it? Lisa, get into the buoy. Now we got some interference here. That disqualified. Whoa! Here goes Blair. Remember, she had great success on Battle of the Network Stars all the way back in 1984. And everything old is new again. Lisa Welchel, a commanding lead over A.J. Mashaka. The red team is going to be cheering her on to victory. What a job on that final leg from Lisa. Okay, let's take another look at what happened there. AJ got into a little trouble around the buoy that opened up the door for Blair to bring it home for the kids' team. She does it again after all these years. Ah! Oh, she killed it! How was that last leg for you? Oh my goodness. The last leg was okay, so the last arms that were in trouble. It's been 34 years since I did this, and... I just appreciate it a lot more. Kim and Lisa have really been like standout stars of this team. And Lisa did amazing today during the rowing. I mean, she really had never done kayaking in her life and jumped in the pool and really under pressure, had to improvise and everything, just totally pulled it out in the end. We were so proud of her. Kayak Relay puts the TV kids back out in front. They're up two to one. Let's show you what happened earlier today in basketball when Dave Poulier took on Joey Lawrence, Uncle Joey versus Joey. So here's how basketball will work. Each celebrity is going to get five balls at five different stations, total of 25 shots from the three-point line. Most makes, wins. 
Dave went first, hit five shots among the five racks of five balls. Wasn't feeling all that confident. That's hard. But then Joey Lawrence went up there and didn't hit anything at all, especially the net. So how do you think Joey's doing right now? Uh, <laughs> I'm starting to feel pretty good about myself right about now. Yeah. Does he have oven mitts on? I can hear you, man. <laughs> I can hear you, Howard Cosell. <laughs> I think Joey Lawrence would like to forget this experience. Didn't hit a shot out of 25 attempts. Dave Coulier nailed five. TV sitcom takes it. I suck at basketball. It's not my thing. But it's okay because I'll make fun of myself in front of millions of people. <laughs> Our soccer event placed five balls at the regulation penalty kick distance of 18 feet. Multiple targets with various points were set up. Facts of life and growing pains going at it on the soccer field. Kim and Tracy. Yes, and Alex Morgan has nothing whatsoever to be worried about. Neither really great soccer players. Ah! You can see the form there, but in the end, Kim was able to roll two in and score the point for TV kids. Ah! Shoot! Up next, the dunk tank. Okay, Joey, I love your hair. I love your hair. There it is. We're to battle the network stars. And so joyfully we come to the dunk tank. You can't do battle of the network stars without it. And a twist this time, this thing is five times higher than it was back in the day. And I'll tell you this, there's pressure on the thrower. Everybody is expecting, anticipating the dunk. You gotta hit it. You get three attempts, and I demand that Tom Arnold sits up there. Nobody is better equipped to talk smack than Mr. Arnold up there. We call it walking the plank. Let's go find out who's gonna do it. Yeah, he's there. Lisa Welchel now up there on the dunk tank seat. It's really high up here. It was so cool. Oh my gosh. Hey, I'm friends with Lisa. Lisa's my friend. Dave Coulier, who won the basketball event, will be the thrower for the blue team. Come on, sweet talking, girl. Dave, we had like a Jack deal, Lisa, remember? Yeah. No, no You're deal. Than you no are. deal. Will you be nice no to me? No deal. Dave, remember? No, no, Dave, no, no. First throw is off the mark, but man, oh man, does he have some mustard coming with that toss. Dave's doing tricks over here. Yeah, I know. He's a he's a juggler. This guy, he's, he was a mime in Vegas for a time. This guy's done it all, this guy. <laughs> he's a mime in Vegas. <laughs> there it is, and there goes Blair. Boy, that was cold blood, and Lisa had the sweet talk working, and Dave didn't want to hear it. Down she goes. How would you describe what that fall was like for you? It took forever to hit the water. Here he goes, Tom Arnold. We have been waiting to see Arnold in action today, and I got a feeling this is the event that he is best equipped for. Maybe a little smack talk taunting the thrower. Joey Lawrence will be the thrower. You feeling all right? Okay, Joey, listen, I played your father. I, I love your family. Don't hit me. Tom's already begging for mercy. You know what? Your family loves me. I love, I love you, you. I've I love known you since you were a kid. I know. You know what? I'm going to miss on purpose. Get your, okay, thank right? you. Okay, buddy. Yeah, miss on purpose. You, man. Joey, you're a big star. You don't need this. You don't need to do this to me. You know? Oh, oh, hey, hey, don't worry about it. You missed one. You missed two. Last ball here from Joey Lawrence to dunk Tom Arnold. Can he put him down? Hey, you used right here. Oh! Wow. Joey from Blossom. He's been a real joy to have around and a great team player, but um, <laughs> it's been interesting watching him throw balls. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Joey Lawrence, Ofer on the dunk tank toss, Ofer in basketball. He's a natural born runner. Oh no, what, what, what's happening now? Looks like Coach Ronda Rousey is going to take things into her own hands here. Oh, no. Not going to be counted in the what, what, overall score, but boy, is it satisfying. No, I won! Is there no winning in this game? You know what? This is for Roseanne. Don't miss, don't miss. Ronda, lefty, made it look easy. Again, no point scored, just consider that payback, punishment for Tom showing up late for today's event. Ronda's going to help Tom out of the water. Oh, don't do it, Tom. Don't try. DeMarcus helping out. 
Rhonda and Tom, a little something to settle here. What a move by the champ. Tom's done oh again. Oh my God. They grab my jacket. And uh, in judo, if somebody grabs your gi, like a bad grip, and your gi's loose, you just shuck it off, right? It just comes off. The referee will stop it. And that was my reaction. He fell right back into the pool. So, you know, he deserved it. Were you really trying to pull her in the water? Yes, I was trying to pull her in the water. I thought that would be hilarious. And she's like a rock. I could have pulled Joy Lawrence and all of his whole brothers in the water before I pulled her in. Well, it was worth the wait for Tom Arnold, of course, a network star from years ago when he was part of America's favorite blue-collar family during his time on the wildly popular Roseanne. I am uh, uh, very proud of my work on Roseanne. I had no idea how good I had it. I got to follow a woman whose vision changed television. You did not see a person like Roseanne on television, not a woman. You saw Jackie Gleason, but you didn't see a woman doing it. The fact that she's getting another shot uh, to to do more stuff makes me very happy. Yeah, on the catwalk. All right, let's show you how the rest of the dunk tank event played out. You are going down. <laughs> Nolan Gould from Modern Family, he was next to walk the plank. Bronson Pinchot wasted no time sending the youngster into the drink. Yeah. Yeah. take one, get it. Balky dunked him on his very first throw, and that gave the TV sitcoms a one-point lead. There was a certain point, like, halfway through the fall where I just, like, my stomach was gone. I was like, oh, I left it up there. Then it was up to Corbin Blue. He had to try to even the score if he could dunk A.J. Mashaka. After two misses... Oh, is that going to go? No, he hit the pole, not the target. It came down to one final toss. There you go. See ya. How about her face in mid-drop there? Corbin on target. Another point for the TV kids. So after the dunk tank, we are all knotted up at four apiece. Counting up next, the events continue with thrills. Keep low! No! And spills. Clearly not an athlete here, guys. To call this golf would be an insult to golfers everywhere. Welcome back here to Battle of the Network Stars. Earlier today in tennis, A.J. Mashaka of TV sitcoms took on Lisa Welchel from the TV Kids team. The rules are simple for tennis. Each player is going to get 20 balls from the ball machine. The player who returns the most in will earn one point for their team. Up first was A.J., and despite having youth on her side, Oh, gosh! She missed most of her shots. Oh, gosh! Only scoring three of the 20 balls. Whoa! Clearly not an athlete here, guys. Lisa was up next and got off to a rocky there start. Oh, 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 God. Then she rallied, returning five, besting AJ, scoring one overall team point for the TV Kids team. With Lisa's win in tennis, the TV Kids now lead five to four. So let's take a look at what happened earlier today in the archery competition. Rini, I am so thankful that we have bales of hay as well as a mountain behind the targets because Bronson Pinchot didn't hit a target. He was off the whole day. Nolan Gould hit three points here, so TV Kids took archery. No opportunity for Bronson to do the dance of joy. Earlier today in the golf competition, Tom Arnold of TV sitcoms went up against Corbin Blue from the TV Kids. The rules for golf, one shot each from 60 yards away. Of course, you got to carry the water. The closest to the pin wins. Up first was Tom. To call this golf would be an insult <laughs> to golfers everywhere. Tom Arnold hit the kind of shot that would make Jordan Spieth quit the game. Okay, team. I've got it. Okay. Oh, shoot. I touched it. I touched it. Okay. Okay. I mean, shoot! Is it like tennis where you get another deal? Candidly, Corbin Blue practically won this thing by default. His shot, nothing to write home about, but it was more than enough for the win. And then, even though the superintendent asked him not to, he went over and fed the ducks. Come here! Come here, guys! Hey, doggies! Doggies! Have a little treat. You earned it. You're a great audience. You stood in the back. You gave me my space. I promise I'll be better next time. They're beautiful ducks, right? There you go. Hey, listen, I got enough for everybody, okay? 
All right, Joe, we come to the event we've all been waiting for, the obstacle course, the classic we all remember it from decades ago. The key to the obstacle course is not making mistakes and costing time. The first obstacle is the rat trap. Yeah, rat trap, I mean, just get under there and get through. It shouldn't be an issue at all, Green. Next up is the tire run. Then the punch through. Yeah, you could cheat this one a little bit. You punch, but you push through, and then you get that heavy bag right to the end all the way to the green line. Monkey bars, very careful to make sure they touch the three they have to touch. That's bar one, three, and five. The rope swing. Disaster. Waiting to happen. 15 feet across, Green. I mean, somebody's getting the water. Oh, I would say the water is a lock. The question is, do they get out on the other <laughs> side, still able to run? Get a life preserver. And get over to the final obstacle. And then break the tape. The women will be up first. And with only three points separating the teams, it's still anyone's competition. Up next, it's the women's obstacle course. Honey, honey, go AJ. AJ right into the water. Welcome back to Malibu and Battle of the Network Stars. The obstacle course critical. Five points for the men, five points for the women. The women's matchup will be Kim against AJ for the men. It'll be Bronson against Corbin Blue. The women will be up first. Is there a betting favorite, would you say, amongst You know, the women I talked to the guys in the desert. I think the lean's been red all day long. I'm, I'm going to stay that way, Greeny. What I want you to do is almost bounce through the tire. You got to stay low, right? Stay low. Look, yeah. like this. Yeah, Don't try to run through the tire like this. Cause that's what they, everybody wants to do. Yeah, I mean, I, do I did drills. Now it comes down to the point where all the grit comes in the obstacle course. That's going to be the telltale on the character of my team. They're going to try and punch really hard to do it. I want you to do something called bad drops, which is really fast. You I really believe that sports are a metaphor for life. Things like being able to perform under pressure and come back from being behind. Go, 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 go. That's it. I really want everyone on my team to really face all of those difficult things today, and I want to see them conquer them. One, two, three. Are we <laughs> AJ, this is a redemption. Yeah, it is. Uh, obstacle my course for you whack. with the tennis and the kayaking. Yeah. And, okay, you've been here before. You've done the obstacle course last time. Take me back to uh, the year that you did it, and what was the differences between the obstacle course then and now? The monkey bar seemed a lot taller. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, what? 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 <laughs> When I did this before the monkey bars, I, I landed wonky on my left knee. Jimmy Fields fell as you just saw. Shari Kim's in trouble. And so I'm just going, okay, I'm not going to have a flashback and get stuck and, you know, have some horrible vine going through my head. Focus on one thing at a time. You can do awesome. Let's go, AJ. Get ready. They are off to the rat trap. Kim goes with the wall technique. AJ the side crawl. A slight lead for Kim and the TV kids. Pretty even so far as they get to the heavy bag and the punch through. Kim gets through over to the monkey bars now. And the bars can cost you time if you try to be too perfect. Kim hits the ground mid bars, simply touches that final bar. That's allowed. Go, 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 go. Oh, Kim, right into the water. Go, AJ. And AJ as well, getting soaked down there. Go, go, go. Come on, Kim. Push it, push it, push it. Come on, AJ. Kim Fields out in front of AJ Mashaka as they take it up and over the cargo netting. Let's see who gets to the top as Kim tries to get there. AJ with a surge and she slides first. It'll be a race to the line. AJ stumbles. Kim does as well. One final surge and AJ takes it. Yes. Get up. Still finish. Come on. You still got to finish. The oldest sports adage there is, it ain't over till it's over. And that time it wasn't over till it was over. Kim leading almost the entire way. In the end, AJ pulled out the front and got the win. They both stumbled right before the finish line. It gave it that dramatic moment there, but a heck of an effort by AJ. So we didn't do well in tennis, but you were able to redeem yourself here. How does it feel? It feels really good. Just their reactions after. I'm just so happy that I was able to please them. Oh, Whoa. Yes, a little bit. oh my goodness. Whoa. Aside from the bruising, how do you feel? I'm a little disappointed. I just couldn't get my momentum to get back up and get across. 
Don't even think of going anywhere. This battle is nowhere near complete. Coming up next, the men's obstacle course. What kind of burped you when you were born? Is that an insult? And then it's the tug of war. Keep low! No! Welcome back to Malibu and Battle of the Network Stars. The blue team pulling in front 9-7. to seven, And now for the men in the obstacle course, it'll be Bronson against Corbin Blue. Five points at stake. And I would say maybe the greatest sports upsets of all time would include Buster Douglas over Mike Tyson, the miracle on ice. And if Bronson were to pull this thing out, I think it would go third on the list. I think it would be on the short list indeed. Here come the men. Corbin's in the zone. Got this. Bronson, you got this! Here we go. Balky against Chad. Look at the speed right away from Corbin Blue. He's through the tires already as Bronson's still struggling to get to them as he punches his way and off to the monkey bars. Yes! Yes! Corbin Blue is flying through. The rope swing made it through clean, Greeny. Didn't get wet at all. Keep going, buddy. Bronson giving a true effort. Yes, now with soggy socks, but he's going up against an ace at this. Corbin Blue going to slide this thing home. An easy stride to the finish line. That's about as good as it gets. Good job, man. TV Kids now lead 12 to 9. Bronson Pinchot finishes third in a field of two. <laughs> That's okay. Let's take another look at what was a dominating performance. Corbin, from the jump, has his head in the game to use yet another high school musical reference. Bronson was just overmatched in this one. Big win for the Red Team TV Kids. How good did you feel, Start? Like, I, I wasn't looking at all. I wasn't watching him at all, but everything felt really good. Woo uh, so tell me what, in fact, happened that maybe have tripped you. Oh, uh, three decades? I am three decades older than that child. Okay, that's all I have to say. And so we have arrived to the tug of war. The difference between the teams is three. This one is worth ten, so Joe, it will decide it. Greeny, this is how it should be, right? It comes down to the tug of war and battle of the network stars. TV kids versus TV sitcoms. What? What are you looking at? I could have burped you when you were born. Is that an insult? <laughs> I could have gotten your spit up on my shoulder. <laughs> We've talked about the advantage all day long of the TV Kids team when it comes to youth and speed. And Joe, an unexpected leader has emerged from the sitcom team, and it's Tom Arnold. He's been telling everybody that he was on a college championship tug-of-war team. Who knew that was even a thing? Yeah, I won the, the uh, college championship the tug-of-war. So we were put you as the anchor. Yeah, yeah that, that, that was the anchor. Uh -oh. Since you guys have been here before, I was wondering if you had any tips for us for the tug-of-war. Yeah, the tug-of-war. This is a tremendous struggle. Look at Lisa Welch, one of the stars of the competition. Here's the strategy. <laughs> Just take the same and throw it in your hand. <laughs> yeah. All right. Get low. Yeah. There was a stay yeah, yeah, yeah. low and push back. I'm really confident in my team. They've been doing great so far. They've really, like, band together, and any time that they've had any kind of adversity, they've either fought back for a comeback or they've fought to the bitter end, and I'm really proud of them. TV Kids! Woo! <laughs> we lost a couple of battles, but this right here is the war. I know we're ready to grind. Age, over yeah. wisdom, and size. I take wisdom any anyway. day. Yeah, come Blue on, team on three. One, One two, three. three. Blue Blue team. Team. Today I've had a couple wins. I've had a couple losses. But the game is very close right now. We still feel like we're in it. All right, Greeny, the rules of the tug of war. Pull on that rope with all your might until the yellow tape passes your team's flag. <laughs> we're pulling them down into that water. Wide base. <laughs> There you go. No clear advantage on the opening surge. R-E-D, pull! Lean back, lean back, get down, get down, get Now down. a slight pull towards the blue team as Arnold has locked in. R-E-D, pull! Stay low! Get low! R-E-D, pull! They're laying on the ground, guys! Keep moving! TV Kids have stumbled down. The two leads of Facts of Life, Blair and Tootie, are down right now. As Kim Fields is right on the edge of the water. Keep 
Wow! Slight comeback for TV kids. Kim's got her left foot up against the edge of the water there, Greeny. That's not advantage. against the rules. She's fine right there. Go! You got it! Go! Tom Arnold back up on his feet. You can see him gaining ground. Kim is right on the edge of the water. Here they go. As the blue team could be closing in on a win here. Just a couple of feet away. Final pull for the win. TV sitcom wins. Battle of the Network Stars. TV sitcoms are the champions, and I would call this an upset. If you looked at these rosters before this day began, I don't think anyone would have thought the team in the blue was going to be the winner. You know who would have thought? Tom Arnold. He pegged it. He knew it all along. Good job, guys. Wow. I got to tell you, Greeny, this felt great today. Being back in this setting with Battle of the Network stars wearing these vintage blazers, plus the level of competition. They loved it. Yeah. Crown the winners, baby. Oh, the blue yeah. team. Oh, no. Nice. There you go. Crown the blue team. They took it extraordinarily seriously. And if you want to look at it for the competition, I think A.J. Mashaka turned around the entire thing. Her performance in the obstacle course, to me, that was clearly the turning point of the day. No doubt it was the swing moment. Put him in position to win in the tug of war. One, two, three, sitcom! So that'll do it. The final score tonight. Team TV sitcoms 19, Team TV Kids 12. For Cassidy, Gary, Joe Tessitore, and our entire team, I'm Mike Greenberg saying good night from Malibu.